Yes, yes, welcome to the Man City versus Yokohama Marinos review 5-3 win. Our first preseason game is out of the way and what a test that was. We saw goals, we saw loads of players, we saw energy, we saw action. LB, what are your overall thoughts before we go in and out to the players and the goals and that? Yeah, man, um, very happy actually. I don't know why, right, but I just had a feeling that because we won the treble, maybe the players have been like over partying and maybe like maybe ate a little bit too much, drunk a little bit too much and maybe be come back in this pre-season a little bit in a worse condition than normal which is understandable because we won the treble but I've got to say that didn't look like the case you know the team that started the first half started really well that first 20 minutes I thought was really energetic was really powerful they were moving the ball well and then they faded after 20 minutes um, and then the second half team they, they did pretty much the same thing they come on started really well looked really really fresh really really intense of course they were playing against the sort of more tired Yokohama so you can give them credit for that but really really positive I'm, I'm actually quite surprised at how good we were I thought they would be a little bit slower so on the whole, very, very happy with how things have gone. We've got three more tough games coming up. Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich and Arsenal. And then, I know it's only one game, I'm not going to take it too far, but I'm very sort of encouraged by what I've seen. I, I knew going into this game, just because I'd watched a, a small bit of Yokohama in the last week, that mm. they're a very energetic team. You know, they're mid-season. They were going to give us a test. And I said this during our watch, Lon, that in pre-season, you don't want a meaningless game, a game that you're not going to benefit from. You know, we saw Bayern Munich beat someone 22-23-0 last week. Yeah. No one's getting anything from Agreed. that. 5-3 today, yes, there's things to work on, but it's the very first game of the campaign. Everyone's not going to be sharp. Of course, there's, there's things to work on. But the positive to take from it is, yes, we look sharper than we expected, like you said but we gained something from this this was an exercise our players will mm. benefit from we saw a couple of um, new faces if you like so, you yeah. know Kovacic came in today his Man City debut um, James McAtee back off his loan spell at Sheffield United Oscar mm. Bob what do you think of these guys I thought they were they were very impressive uh, let, me, let me start with Oscar Bob first, actually, because I thought he he was really, really impressive. Um, I thought he held the width really, really well. I thought he linked up with Bernardo Silva excellently until he went off uh, and got subbed off for Perone. I think when Perone came on, the team sort of slowed down a little bit. I'm not saying that's Perone's fault, but I just think they did. Maybe it's just the timing. Um, but yeah, Oscar Bob, very, very impressed. I thought Kovacic was... I'm actually really, really impressed with Kovacic. <laughs> People might be like, why? He didn't really do anything. It's 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 the way that he sort of moved around the pitch. He looked like he belonged on the football pitch. You know, sometimes players come into this team after a transfer, they look a little bit shy. We've seen it with Grealish when he first joined. We've seen it with Calvin Phillips. Kovacic just looked like, yeah, I'm in this team. I mean, Kovacic played for Real Madrid. He's played for Inter Milan. He's played for Chelsea. He's not going to come into this Manchester City team and be like starstruck. You know what I mean? He's also 29. He hasn't got time to be starstruck. So I think he just come in and, and look pretty good. And I think that with more games, more coaching by Pep Guardiola, he could be really something special. So uh, McAtee, I thought when he was on the pitch, when he got on the ball, looked very good. I just thought, I wish he got on the ball a little bit more. But again, very impressed. So yeah, I'm very happy with, with those players' performances. Calvin Phillips, someone you touched on there, and he's someone we've all eagerly been been waiting on to see how how this season is going to pan out for him. You mm. wanted him to stay on for ninety minutes. He got forty five, and mm. um, you know, uh, granted he was a little bit rusty. Some things I thought were a little bit off the pace, but yeah. for him the big thing was he got that little bit, uh, that little glimpse, a, a little moment where you know he closed down the keeper, mm. he put pressure on the keeper, um, and it forced a goal for us. Alvarez put it away, but that's something I think Calvin Phillips will take away from. What did you think of his his forty five? minutes today obviously I think I would have preferred him to get 90 as well but mm. what did you take away from that um, a bit of a mixed bag to be honest with you I thought at times he looked alright you know made some really nice passes at times so the likes of Grealish and uh, Cole Palmer on the right hand side but also looked a little bit slow but the thing that people have to realise about Cole, um, about Calvin Phillips is he's, he's not played football in a year so, you know, it's, whilst he's coming into pre-season, he's already behind everyone else as it is because he's not played football for a, for, for, for a full year, basically. So um, it's not going to be easy. And that's why I was pushing for him to get 90 minutes because... I think it's really important that we just get as many, many minutes as possible into Calvin Phillips' legs just to try and get him you know, back on the scene and get him back active again. So a um, bit of a mixed bag. I would say probably... I don't know, I was going to say more positive than negative. I think, he was, I think he had a good game. I think he played all right. But I do think it's important that he just gets as many minutes as possible. Of course, you do have to look after Rodri. You can't just forget about him. You want him coming into that burn the game fresh and ready for it. But, um, yeah, look, it's a big season for Calvin Phillips. It clearly is. Everyone knows that. You don't need me to tell you. But he needs to have a good year. But he's only going to have a good year if he gets minutes and he gets, he gets energy into those legs again. So, um, yeah, I hope he plays against Atletico Madrid. I hope he gets some minutes against Arsenal and... 
and um, Bayern Munich as well. But yeah, I thought he played all right. Okay, he, he made you know a couple of sloppy passes, um, but like I say he's not played football in a year. It was never going to be a stunning performance. Yeah, we, we need a big season from Calvin Phillips. We need Calvin Phillips to come through this season because the the, the prospect of Rodri playing 55, 60 games again yeah. is just not feasible. Right, no. the last player I want to ask you about is someone that people will be talking about uh, off the back of this game, and that, of course, is Mr. Potential Remontada. Cancelo came on for the second half, and mm. as expected, as he always did, he cooked. Yeah, you know, going forward, did. the guy, you know, like is you, you, you need to put your differences aside about the, the personal issues he had in January. In terms of talking about football, Footballing ability going forward, the guy is one of the best in the business. Where do you stand with the the Cancelo situation? Play very well, but like I said in the watch along, it's no surprise. Everyone knows he can attack. Everyone knows that he can put great crosses into the box and take on players. You know that's not a surprise. No one's no one's sat here now going fucking hell, mate. Cancelo was mega. Like oh, I never thought he'd do that. Like everyone knows he can do that. We all know that. The the the, the thing about Cancelo is defensively he's poor and. His attitude ain't the best. You know what I mean? So, there's nothing's really changed. You know what I mean? It's just whether or not you want to keep him around. And you look at a performance like today and you think, how can you let him go when he performs like that? Well, that's not why you would let him go. The reason you'd let him go for the reasons that I've mentioned earlier about his attitude and defensive capabilities. Look, I don't know. It's up to Pep Guardiola. Um, I think clearly, it's for, for me, um, it's like, what does Pep want from this? Are we even going to play a, a formation that Cancelo was can play in? I don't know. He's a good, he's a great player. I think everyone knows he's a great player, but will he fit into our system? Are we willing to bring him back in due to his defensive problems? And what do you, do you want him there with his attitude? You know what I mean? I don't know. That's every fan will have their own opinion. I guess the people can let us know in the comments what they want to do. But the facts are, today was a very, very good performance from from Cancelo, and and maybe yeah, maybe people might be thinking now actually. Bring him back in because what he just offered us was very, very promising. So, look, my position hasn't changed. I'd still let him go, in my view. Um, but if he's a Manchester City player, come the end of the transfer window, he'll get my full support like every other City player. Is the door open for Cancelo? That's what I want you guys to let me know down below in the comments. A 5-3 win in our opening preseason game. Like I said, I think it was the perfect test yeah. to start off this campaign. I'm really, really happy with how that game panned out and what I saw from the City players. Listen, let us know all of your thoughts down below in the comments on what you thought on today's game and the individual performances and the Cancelo thing, the young lads, all that good stuff. I want you to let us know down below. Smash a like on the video as well if you would. It massively, massively helps other people find the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and we'll see you later on with some brand new content in a bit see you in a bit people